Okay. okay. Big and orange is going to be hard to miss, yeah, right? they like to eat the hay, so I feed the horses at night behind the barn, so I think that's why they're always there. So yeah, that's the story, guys. We've got iguanas coming from the forest, here in the pasture, and they want to eat the hay from the donkey. Why? That's something we're going to have to ask these iguanas. He's definitely gonna go on land. What she said, she's calling the cops. Welcome to the Iguana Man YouTube channel. I'm your host, Roger the Iguana. I give a special thanks to FX Air Guns, the M3 power right here. PCP air rifles, guys, able to use and eliminate some of these pests. As you can see, it's raining. It's pretty cool out, it's about 76 degrees. I know it's a lot cooler in other parts of the country. But here in Florida, that is uh, on the cooler side, believe it or not. All right, looks like he's cleaning up. I was gonna go work here in the area, but with this weather and it being wet, we're gonna go far up north. We're gonna be going to one of the big jobs that we've been to before. I don't know if you remember, but we were dealing with a customer dealing with otters living underneath her pool. What's going on guys, Guana Man here. Thanks for checking out this video. Yeah, so this was wild. This was one of the first times we went over there we got the reports of the otters living under the pool. So we're going back right now to investigate that and also the iguanas. Having a farm and ranch. The ranch can resume the festivities. Animals can play and eat. <laughs> to worry about iguanas trying to steal their hay. Those silly iguanas. Why do they want the hay? Drop a comment and let us know. And a massive mess of iguanas. Just to give you guys the scoop, this is basically an animal sanctuary. They rehab sick or injured animals and they bought the whole entire property, but there are iguanas living in the forest by the lagoon and it's quite troublesome to the new residents. Are out there claiming territory. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you out there. Some wet garments. Yeah, let these let these guys dry up a little bit. Yeah. We're back at the ranch with our customer right. Joan, her daughter Michelle, and their husband, like and of course all the animals. Yeah. Oh, uh, mention something about the barn. Where, where's the barn at? Hanging out at. Yeah, he hangs out right. So there's this one that hangs out in that tree. You see it up right there, obviously. And then there's another one that's a little bigger than him super super orange he hangs out behind the barn and then he'll climb up like you see like the palm trees mm -hmm. at the bottom of the lake mm -hmm. and if you go up there's like the gap in the trees so follow that up and then a little to the right he hangs out right on that tree. okay okay big and orange is gonna be hard to miss yeah, right they like to eat the hay so i feed the horses at night behind the barn so i think that's why they're always there trying to steal some of that it's kind of wild isn't it yeah. yeah they got all the grass why would they want to steal hay i guess it's just easier and tastier yeah, <laughs> yep we're gonna come through here right uh <laughs> we'll check it out but yeah if, if we don't get them today we'll have to get them another time you know yes sir okay yes sir not a problem okay please there goes the hay. Could you imagine, like, they just put hay out here and a bunch of iguanas come out? Start trying to munch that hay. And it's like, they're not, they're not even afraid of the donkeys, apparently, you know? He's in the pasture? Yeah. Yeah, we'll kind of come around, come behind them. Yep, we see him. All right, he's right up in there. We'll go look for him real quick. I see him. I'm gonna get stuck. He's a good one too. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's right here. Hold on. What? Oh, he's just climbing up there. Yeah, there, there were two or three on the way. 
There he goes. Still one more, the one I clapped? No. That's a different one. See his head sticking up right there? You good. Oh, we got the big boy right there. Oh, yeah. All right, wait up for a sec. He's definitely going to go on land. What'd she say? Calling She's calling the cops. All right. He went up. I don't think they know that you're with him. Yeah, who are those there neighbors? Where's he? Where's he? Okay, he's going in there. Water. He's going in there. Okay. Get ready. Because once he goes to that bank, y'all can just. Nope, 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 nope. There are horses. I see the horses. I see horses right Yep, no, no shot there. No shot. Not even towards the bank? No, there's horses. Right okay, there. we'll meet him up over there. We'll skip one. Where is it? You see him? Oh, he's right here. He's done. There he is. No, nah, safety, safety, man. I just happened to see that horse's tail flick. That's when I stopped. Where's he at? He just dove back in? All right. We'll keep our eyes open for him. Seed. Little iguana seed. That thing was so orange. So we lock, we gotta lock the gates. You don't see that every day. Y'all see? I see another one on the other side. Oh yeah, the big one up there by the house. Yeah. yeah. We have to get it over there though. Yep. There he is, he's moving now. Yeah, Just a little. So we said over there there's like a bee bee nest. By that trailer, by yeah. that pole or something, a pole over there. Yeah, be happy to just stay, stay away. Remember this place when they first started, when they first got here. All this used to be brush over here. Yeah. Yep, on the back side. See that deck? Yeah. Uh -huh. They had a whole family of otters living under there. I guess this is where they train them ponies. Use this to train them ponies. Got to jump over these hurdles. I continue to walk this tree line in search of more iguanas. Come to find out that it's pretty thick and it's kind of swampy back there. Let's take a look. So, wasn't quite sure if I was going to see anything and yeah. being later in the day after some cloudy, rainy weather, was not really sure what to expect. Have access to that house, I think. Oh. Little seed, yeah. Oh. Just flooded back here. You hear that? Sound like a pig. Yeah, usually above these limbs. Oh shoot, there, there's some on the other side, dude. You gonna slide through the gate? Right here. I don't think anybody's been back over here. This is nuts. 
This was perfect. We had a safe backdrop, so we decided to try to ambush these iguanas. Oh yeah, he's out. Oh! Rolled them. Holy crap, dude. We walked through the path out of the brush and we seen an iguana scurry off. So I decided to see if I can locate him. Yeah, it's kind of silly that these iguanas are actually stealing the hay from I the livestock. That. I wonder why. But nonetheless, iguanas on your property will cause damage and time, which can equal money. Gotta take them. Gotta get them. We had the, uh, what we got here? One, two of them here? One scurried off? Oh, right. Oh, damn. I might go in there and go look for them. See what's good. Let me see if this one's over here. It could just be right here. Try to get him. He's right at the water. We got him. That's a fat one too, dude. Oh, oh shoot. All right, I'm coming back. There it is. Not too, not too bad. Good one. Yeah. Well, you. Oh, the big one. Yeah, that's, yours. that's yours, dude. Straighten up and I saw him spin. So I was like, you got him, you know? The humidity and trekking through the woods can really be a workout. Thank you. So that's electric fence right there. Yes, I don't see the Only one way to find out, dude. Let me touch it. No, I'm kidding. This is, like, how many volts do you think is through that? About 8,000 volts. Oh, that's enough to jolt you. Thanks. That's what we got so far. Hit a couple nice ones. Stay tuned. See if we can get some more. So pretty much if you go out here first thing in the morning, 60, 30, Bigger than that biggest one you got over there in the back. <laughs> and all out in that paddock over there. Some of them got to be hiding in the trees, but yeah. some of them got to have some burrow somewhere. Yeah, like some nest or something. Past, past the, the burrow there. back there where we come into you. Come the road, it looks like a, tree, a fallen tree. And you can see the burrow right there. Hmm. Come sure. into the donkey paddock in the morning. Yeah, because I've seen yeah. pictures where there's like, like 20, oh. 30 of them. Like yeah, just, that's every morning. Yeah. And every afternoon, like you... We're here, so we decided to go for a round two, go look on the property again, see if we can find oh, any. For real? Okay. <laughs> and, you know, while we're here, I mean, it was a whole hour hey, drive donkey. to get over there, so I want to make it count. But we will be back. To so, yeah, that's the story, guys. We've got iguanas coming from the forest here in the pasture, and they want to eat the hay from the donkey. Why? That's something we're going to have to ask these iguanas. Silly, silly, silly. We'll be back to this job. A later day. Probably all day. Morning till night. Nice shot. And maybe we can bring the iguana ninja. Hopefully he'll be feeling better from after his tooth egg. Because he's a real asset to the team. This guy would be spotting them left and right. Which equals more kills, more removals, and more bounty. Oh, uh, he's, yep. Yeah, I see him. He's right here. He's going to drop. All right, we got him. He's right here. So you guys think since you guys cut back some of this property, like a lot of them have gone away? 
No, you actually see more of them in the, they come out and out of the grass. Now they're actually starting to come to the front of the house where we never saw them in front of the house before. Yeah, she That's fine. absolutely insane. She's fine. In the morning sometimes sitting there eating a the horse's hay. Just an iguana. With all, the with all the vegetation, why would you go in and eat out of a stall well, where the horse would there. one stomp and they're they crushed? They just stand there. They don't really seem to be phased by it. He goes out and grabs old tree and just shake them a little bit. Oh. <laughs> That's what we need. Pecan shaker. Pecan shaker, huh? Yeah. It'd be nice to have a net under the tree while we do that, too. Just catch them all. Look for that big one. He is here somewhere. The big one? It was hanging out here when we came back early, later this afternoon. In this way. Okay. But so, this is where... Yeah, this is where she'll see him in the morning. Just kind of chilling. Okay. I'll go back over there. See if we can find him. That was good. That one's, that one's uh, slumped over. Yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah, he's up yep, there. It's right there. You can see it. It's like just quite dangling. They're like a Christmas tree order. I got you. Like I said, he is above the water. I mean, we would love to go in there and recover him. We do want to eat these iguanas. FYI, everybody wondering. But, you know, we are here to do the removal. And unfortunately, they're, these ones are right above the water. So we're going to try to get whatever ones we can. But It's a silly question. They put this on to train the horse? No, it keeps flies out of their eyes from biting them and giving them pink eye. Or not pink eye, but... Protection. Uh, what, what is that called, the horses? Yeah. Some type of infection, all right? Uh, we call it fly. Uh, all right. No horsing around, guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Iguana's coming in here trying to steal y'all. Hey, I hear y'all. It's crazy that an iguana lizard can be that dominant in his mind to go up to an animal this big, try to steal his hay, and not even be phased. A lot of muscle. The horses, the horses can't do nothing, and the iguanas get what they want. You keep eating your hay, you're gonna grow up to be like one of them big horses, all right? Yep, just like that. What do you think of that, dude? Oh, he fell out. Oh no, but the ants have gotten to him. Oh, oh wow, God, horse flies trying to get at me. Circle of life. All right, now. Let's get yep, all right, cool. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Two on Upon exiting, we did right see there. a giant in the trees, but we decided to wait for another day where he's going to be on the floor. So once we shoot him, he won't go right into the water and be gone. I the only animal to rescue. Nice. Yeah. Got a nice little, so, okay, rescue sanctuary out here for these guys. Yeah. Matter of fact, Michelle went to go pick up another horse. Oh. oh. Look. Jess, look. When I come forward. This is the one that catches the these otters were on the property but apparently had some type of altercation with one of these dogs so they ended up leaving exiting going through the swamp going to another property somewhere safe somewhere where there would be no intrusion from a big dog those are some smart creatures right there and these are cattle dogs. And he's a cattle dog. That's family. This is Jesse. Is that how she got that scratch on her nose? Yeah. yeah. And Michelle rescued her skin and bones. Usually this is skinny. She literally could barely walk. She'll catch him and then let him go. She won't let go. It takes her like 20 minutes to get it out of her mouth. Yeah. Oh, he wants one of those. Oh, he wants yeah, Silly dog just doesn't know when they give up. Wants to keep going for an iguana. Oh, that's our job, buddy. You could help maybe next time. Hey, maybe she could help next time, maybe? Yeah, she won't let go. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay. Not a bad time. Really? Yeah. Huh. You like iguana hunting too, huh? You meet. Guys, stay tuned because maybe next time we might bring this dog on the iguana hunt with us. Her name is Molly. We got it. Okay. Yeah, I got a scale. We'll weigh that I'd like big to, one. I'd like to know what he weighs. 
Uh, you gonna weigh some of these ones too, because everybody's a little curious, you know? Yeah, oh, definitely. Like, that dude right there was fat daddy. How much is that one weigh? 10, 13 pounds, maybe? Can. Okay. Yeah. Can. All right. Go with uh, this guy first. This is the smallest one out of the bunch. What's it reading? Is it reading? 3.495. You got it on Oh, I have on kilograms. Oops. <laughs> Here it is. 2.65 pounds per, I believe. 7.5. Seven. Seven, seven and a half pounds. Half pound dragon looks like right here. So this one can feed definitely a group of four or five people. Yeah. Let's get to the bigger ones. Well, Alright guys, that's a, that's what a ten that's what a ten two iguana looks like. Two ounces. Let's see how much the big orange one is. Alright, here we go. Ten five. Ten five. Okay, he's ten five. Ten five. Ten five. Ten five. Ten pounders all day. Yeah, and that's that's good right there. That's good fish. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these guys, get them ready, put them on ice, put them in the bag. Hope you guys enjoy. So that basically wraps it up for now. We're definitely gonna have to come back. It's gonna be an all day thing. I want to come here in the morning, the afternoon, and then the evening. So it's gonna be a whole day thing. But for now, peace has been restored at this ranch. Normal festivities can continue, and. The residents can just rest a little bit easier knowing that we are chipping away at this population. There was a lot less anticipated today. It could have been the weather, but we will be back. They just cut back all that territory, all them trees. So they say a lot of iguanas are out and about on the right time. It's done. The ranch can resume the festivities. Animals can play and eat. In their own backyard and not have to worry about iguanas trying to steal their hay. Those silly iguanas. Why do they want the hay? Drop a comment and let us know. All right, there you have it right there. It's a massive heap of iguanas from today's harvest. But this is one thing that I did notice in some of the iguanas. Some of the females had a lot of that in it. And that right there is what I believe is fat. Yep fat just like what mammals would have it's kind of yellow kind of oily kind of spongy a little bit uh, it's like a fat what i think they do is they before the breeding season or before the egg season these iguanas will actually probably fatten up as much as they can eat as much grass eat as much flowers and bougainvilleas fruits and vegetables as they can get those fat reserves up and in this way when breeding season occurs the eggs will have plenty of nutrition to develop fully without any defects so those fat reserves i believe are connected to the eggs look at that they look like pearls and also get those uh, eggs you know developing as quick as possible and those iguanas uh, will lay those eggs as soon as they can that's the end of the video if you want to stay tuned stay updated make sure you follow the channel hit the red subscribe button put the bell on I know a lot of you subscribers are not getting the notifications. It's all good. We're going to be out here. We're going to keep posting. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for your support.